Hey folks, Texas high school basketball district play in full swing. We'll get you warmed up right now. The kids are now back in school, so the crowds should be even bigger this week at the basketball arena. Let's take a look at some key matchups in the Louisiana Hot Sauce Hot Zone. SPC will be the main focus in the Houston area this year, as there's a huge matchup in the private school ranks. Defending state champs, Houston Christian visits St. John's for a big time top five matchup in the state. The Mustangs is a top ranked team in the private school rankings, and they're led by junior point guard Montana Wheeler. This kid can just do it all. He runs the offense to perfection and can always be counted on to hit the key shot. Carter Seeliger is an outside threat and also take it strong to the hole. As for St. John's, well, they're ranked fourth, led by Sebastian Williams Adams, one of the best small forwards in the class of 2025. Williams Adams has the attention of many big time D1 schools like Alabama, Houston, and Kansas. Sebastian coming off a 30 point effort against St. Thomas this past week. In girls hoops, big matchup at the top of 196A goes down Friday as Seven Lakes visits 20th ranked Katie Taylor. Kimya Grice leads the way for the Lady Mustangs. They can get a bucket in a heartbeat. Taylor leads the district, but Seven Lakes is hot on their heels behind the Carlton sisters. Justice is the best player in the state and is headed to Texas. He's returned from an injury and has given the Spartans a shot of adrenaline as they're starting to stack wins. Justice has teamed up with her little sister Madison Carlton to make a formidable one-two punch. This one should be quite the battle in Katy. The Hot Zone is presented by the original Louisiana brand hot sauce. When you need to bring the heat, make all your game day snacks better with Louisiana hot sauce. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. We caught up to another big time athlete in the Houston area on the recruiting trail. Presented by So Chill, Chips and Salsa. Hi, my name is AJ Bates, a guard at Seven Lakes High School. High School, and I'm forward. Um, I was in between schools for a long time, um, but I feel like Texas really made a break. Um, just, they, it wasn't always about basketball with them. They were worried about who I was as a person and things going on in my inside life. And anytime they would call, it wouldn't just be like about basketball. Like they would just call just to check in on me, and something that that was something that really set them apart from everybody else. Um, my passing, uh, I try to get it to everybody as much as I can. Um, there are so many other things that go into basketball than points. Um, and even if they do miss the shot, there's always rebounds and putbacks and stuff like that. But I always try to make sure I'm looking for that extra pass. Um, I've been playing with these girls since middle school. Um, so I love being able to play with them for the last six years, seven years. Um, we all just have a crazy chemistry. We've been on the same AU team since the fourth grade. Like, I just love playing with these girls and our new coach, Watson, or Doug the Thug, sitting over there. Um, I, I love this team and it's, yeah, I love playing with them. Um, honestly, I want people to remember me um, more than just basketball. I know that a lot of my presence here is from basketball, but I also want to make sure, like, I'm just, I'm, ta I'm speaking to everybody. I know, I know as many people as I can. I'm polite to everybody. Like, I want to be known as more than just a basketball player here whenever I leave. Let's take a look at some other games to watch out for in the hype. This week on Chevy's Inside High School Sports, we'll have highlights of two games between Summer Creek and C.E. King a girls game and a boys matchup. For the boys, all eyes could be on Summer Creek's Cameron Patterson. The San Jose State commit is a clutch basket getter and will be key in helping the Bulldogs maintain their place in the 21-6A standings. However, King is no slouch, and even though they've taken a couple tough losses early on in district play, despite their loss last Friday to Atascacita, the Panthers' Christian Thomas has proven to be a difficult matchup for opponents. Thomas can score in the paint, but also bring a defender outside and drop a couple threes on him. This one should be an awesome matchup as it's almost a must win for both squads. 
As for the girls game, the Lady Bulldogs have been cruising along under new head coach Donnie Ott. Summer Creek is still a powerhouse in the Houston area, and this year they feature seniors, Zakara Perkins and Janiah Murphy. The Lady Bulldogs move the ball up and down the court with pace and purpose, and it served them well as they have yet another 20-win season already. C.E. King girls are ranked 17th in the state, and their go-to players are twins, Kennedy and Brooklyn Alexander, who both averaged 12 points a game last year. McKenna Kasim adds a third scoring option for the Panthers, which is something they'll need to knock off Summer Creek. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. Let's take a look back at who won our defensive title belt. Plus, we'll see who might come home with one this week in The Buzz. Last week, the title belt went to Fort Ben Clements and their tenacious D allowed them to keep the L column empty as they took down rival Hightower. Not too many undefeated teams left in the state and the way the Rangers play defense could keep them that way for a while. This week, the Woodlands College Park could be in line for a title belt. The Cavs are ranked 18th and their defense seems to have outmatched 13-6A opponents. They'll face Grand Oaks this week, so look for them to tighten up the defense even more. Hey, that'll do it for today's show. Thanks for joining us. We hope you are now warmed up for some Texas high school basketball.